Hello YouTube, welcome to Motorcycling with Carl. And today we're gonna do an install of the Pinlock Anti-Fog Shield in my built 3.0 helmet. As you guys know, I did a review about this helmet um, a few videos back. One of the big complaints I had about it was it didn't quite have enough ventilation through the helmet and the visor would fog up a lot. Um, I wasn't too familiar with these products, the Pinlock visors. Uh, did a little research and they claim that putting this in there will do a barrier and it leaves like an air gap and it will prevent your visor from fogging up. And I've read nothing but really good reviews about these things. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the anti-fog visor. Um, but before I get into it, I just want to let you know at the end of this video, after the install, I'll give you a little update about where I've been, what I've been doing, what's been going on. All right. So if you want to know that, stick around. If not, you don't have to. But anyway, this is my, my built 3.0 helmet and the visor is very dirty. So that they say you have to clean it really well before you install this product. Also, you can't install it with the visor on the helmet because you kind of have to bend the plastic to flatten it out a little bit when you put it in and they want it really clean. Um, I looked through the directions that came with this helmet and it says nothing about how to take the visor off. So I'm looking at all the mechanisms myself and I could see it wraps around. So it appears that I have to take the screws out of the side and everything, which I'll do now. You could see the little pin locks here in the, in the helmet. So what I'll do first is if any of this gets too long, you know, I'll cut pieces out, but hopefully I won't have to. Let me get up here. What we'll do is we're going to take the screw out of the side. What I like to do is lay everything right down next to the helmet in the order in which it comes off. So it goes back the same. So we had the screw. Um, I think there's a spacer in here. Yes, there is. Screw, spacer. Um, let's see if that will stay in place. Boy, oh boy, I do like my Harley helmet better. That visor just snaps right out. Okay, there's another cover. Another piece there. They all have keyways in them. So I'm looking when I go to put them back, they do have keyways to keep them from being turned or going in the wrong way. Do, do. Take that right out. Take that out. Take that out. And that's there. I don't know. The other side just popped right out. This one. There it is. Okay, so I have the visor. There is a little bit of uh, lubricant on the side, so be careful of that when you take it out. I just found out now myself. So what I'm gonna do, I use this uh, world's best glass cleaner. Other people probably have products they like better. Hey, who's this dog? So we got little Dolly over here trying to help out. So use a nice uh, microfiber cloth. You don't want to scratch your lens. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my lens up. I might cut some of this out so you don't have to sit here watching me clean my lens. 
All right, so I went ahead, I cleaned my lens really good. It's spotless. Um, I'm gonna show you this. This is the Pinlock Fog Resistant Lens 70. All right, they're rated for fog resistance level. They have them rated for 30, 70, 120. They have multiple colors. They have clear, light smoke, dark smoke, yellow, and protectant. So I got this on Revzilla, it was about $20. Um, I will leave a link in the description. Like always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down there. Hit the like button, don't hit the like button, whatever you wanna do. So I did read directions already, so I'm not gonna reread them. Um, so here is the lens. On one side of this, you'll feel there's a, um, a bead of like silicone. That makes the seal between this lens and this lens, and it leaves an air gap between them. And something with that is what prevents your helmet from fogging up. So what they say to do, okay, with this silicone piece facing the lens, the logo is down the bottom, so the logo, you'll be able to read it. It'll be in the right direction after it's installed. So they say you're supposed to take, don't put your fingers on it, but you get, there's a pin in the helmet. Okay, that just that just dropped on there now you're supposed to kind of spread the visor apart and get this one in the other pin which I just did get it to drop down Nicey nice, like that, okay. As the contour comes back, you're gonna just push along that piece of silicone around there. Should be laying flat against it, which it is, okay. And then there's a tear off on the inside now. So if you could find the edge of the tear off. You'd think there's a tab on it that you could just grab and there it is. So as you can see, very carefully pulling that off. All right. It's installed, it looks, you know, looks clear. I could see through it. Um, what I'll do now is I'm gonna reinstall this on the helmet and I'll be right back. All right, so that does it for the install of the Pinlock um, fog, fog lens for the built 3.0 helmet. Um, was fairly easy. Like I said, the one thing about this helmet that is different from my other one is you have to take all the screws in the side apart to get the visor out where my Harley helmet it just snaps out so one drawback but once it's in there hopefully it's good all the reviews that I read about this pin lock is is phenomenal everybody says there's no more fogging up of your visor which would be great so I'm hoping to get out and do a vlog fairly soon it's warming up here i should be able to get out and go riding um earlier i'd say i'd let you know where i've been what i've been doing um as you know i'm an electrician i took a, a short call supposed to be for the shutdown of the nuclear plant in connecticut got up there overtime right off the get-go which is beautiful and then all of a sudden one day I got there and I felt like I had a gut full of razor blades. My diverticulitis had flared up. So I knew I had to come home, 
was on heavy dose of antibiotics for that. Uh, two days into that, I tested positive for COVID on top of it. Um, so that really wiped me out. I am vaccinated and boosted. So who knows if it would have been worse or, or, or what, but either way, it still hit me pretty good. Between the two things, I was down and out for a while. So right about now, I'm still waiting to go back to work. Uh, we'll see what happens. But hopefully I'm back now. The townhouse build eh, hit some setbacks here and there. I think it's still on schedule, but you know, nothing ever goes perfectly as planned or perfect. So keep you up to date on that. But once I do get moved, gonna be huge stuff on the channel, gonna have a good time. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can get out and do a vlog. I wanna do something kind of uh, important to me and I think it'll be fun doing it. I'll let you guys know when I'm on the bike, what's going on. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this little install video. This is Carl saying laugh a lot, be nice and stay safe.